right, so today we're going to be installing most of the parts in the Z. Uh, sorry we haven't posted it in a while because the weather's been really crappy lately. True. And uh, you know, we've just been busy. Oh yeah, and speaking of busy, uh, we've been working on a new channel. Uh, make sure to subscribe to that Subscribe to that channel. I'll link it down below. Uh, it's going to be mostly music videos. Uh, car videos. Car videos, whenever we get to that. Uh, just like films in general. Uh, but in that case, we're just going to be installing most of the parts that I bought from a Z that was parting out. So we're going to put that in here. And we don't know how to install these parts. So we're going to wing it all. Yeah. Um, but yeah. We're going to YouTube it. <laughs> yeah. No, we're winging it. No, no, wing. no, no, let's wing it. Oh yeah, towards the end of the video, I'll explain what the car has uh, regarding mods. And what it needs. So right now it's pretty stock. Just saying. If anyone's trying to run it, run it up. Anyways, yeah, let's get to it. So I'm gonna give you a rundown of what I need or what I'm gonna put on first. So right now I just need this air vent. You can see here it's missing like three other ones. Um, so what I noticed here is that it comes with all you have to do is take out the screw that's in the back, uh, and that's basically it. And then we'll see how this goes. So my goal is to put this inner console, air vent, the pillar plastic part that goes right here. Done. All right, the car is ready now. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's. So yeah, center console, air vent, and then this pillar right here, and then we have more some more uh, plastic pieces back there that we need to install, and so we'll keep you guys updated on that. Is it? Huh? I think it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. Uh, I just gotta... There it goes. Put those shoes here. Oh, there it is. Oh, you dropped it? Yep. Oh, fuck. oh, no, I got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah. So, Caesar left, but uh, I finally got to get this one in. It was such a pain. But, I mean, even though I got no AC, uh, I'd like to at least have it clean. After actually looking at the car, I um, found out that the speakers are actually zip tied. There it goes. So the speakers are actually zip tied on there, which kind of pisses me off because how lazy can you be? I mean, I get, I get zip ties, they help, they work on everything, but Really? Come on, like, and this, that's not even the worst. So, this speaker right here is just held on by the magnet. See? How cheap is that? So I'm contemplating putting the actual, or actually putting the plastic part back here, because um, I know I have it. I think I'm just gonna keep the speaker off for now. Uh, as soon as I can fix these speakers or the wiring for these, uh, then then I'll actually put the plastic part uh, afterwards. Then coming to back here, I got those that plastic part and that that plastic part. All this is missing. This is funny too. This is zip tied together. Like why? <laughs> This side is completely broken. Uh, the shocks are out, so I need to buy or find some somebody that's parting out their Z so I can buy the shocks from them. And I might be buying another plastic part here because that was duct tape on there and I guess it fell off and so it just ripped a hole on this plastic part. So I'll be buying another part for that. Also found some tape here on the outside on the door jam i guess because water was getting through that's really really sketch also there's tape here and there's also tape on the other side i probably will i probably will be getting another stereo system because this one's really jank also um i don't like the quality of it and it's kind of dirty and all scratched up but i i want to be looking into like Probably like a touch screen or something, just something more better and a little, a little more better quality. Possibly getting a uh, touch screen that has Bluetooth and USB. Well, this one has USB actually, but 
Uh, I'd prefer something more decent. Now we ran into an issue here. So the door handle that's supposed to go on the passenger side. Uh, so this is what the screw. Let's see if it focus. So this is a screw that they had given me when I was getting the parts out of the other Z uh, for the door handle on the bottom one. Now when I try to screw this in, it doesn't go through. So after taking off this plastic part, uh, for focus, take off this plastic part right here, looking in what's behind it, uh, it turns out that these are not the right size for, I guess, this one. It looks like, uh, for instance, I guess it got ripped off or something, or I don't know. So, what I did is, so I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna use this bigger one, which will screw on to the plastic part that's behind this, and then it should work. Now, the problem with doing this is that it may cause some tension towards uh, the plastic that's behind it, so it might pull it too much toward to the point where it could pop off. But just for just for temporarily, I'm just gonna put this on for now, and then later in the future we can get it figured out. So after putting this in, I was sitting right here um, trying to get this on. And thankfully, I got this on. Actually, it looks pretty. It looks better now. I can focus. There you go. Yeah, so we got that on. So as I was here, uh, I leaned on the skirt and this happened. And so I found out that it's missing. So there's two clips right here. It's missing a clip right here. Oh, look at that. So it's missing a clip or a tab right here. And then it's missing one over there on that side. So there's two already. And after taking that out, I found out there's a whole bunch of just dirt and leaves under there. I don't know how that got on there. That's why I want to take this over fender off, uh, see what's under there, especially why, why is there tape underneath. So I'm trying to take these tabs off. If you guys know how to take them off, can you comment down, if you can comment down below how to take them off. Uh, I'd like to take this whole thing off. See, there's a piece of random tape here. Oh, probably because there's a hole. So there's a hole right there. I guess I'll keep that back on there. The previous owner obviously didn't really take care of this car. Um, I mean, it runs fine and everything, but just the exterior, interior work, all the cosmetics, it's just, it's horrible. And then steering wheel, I don't have a horn. I don't know what happened to it. The guy said that it froze overnight and da da da, whatever, I don't even know. So I'm gonna be replacing that steering wheel, um, putting an aftermarket one. Uh, cause first off, I don't have a horn, and then second, I would like to have, uh, a nice looking steering wheel. Also, these seats, I want to get brand new seats. Um, uh, it's a little torn on the other side. Here, I'll show you. So over here, it's starting to tear a little bit. I don't know if I want to get it right repaired. Uh, cause I do have some people that will repair this, but, uh, I think I'm just gonna get some new, probably like little more sporty seats, make it look more nicer. So now, my main focus was to put the center console in, and that came out successful. Uh, so, now we have the right fuel gauges, and these a little cleanup, but as far as it goes, I mean, it looks more decent a little bit, well, besides the radio not being here. But, like I said, I want to be getting some type of aftermarket radio, touchscreen, Bluetooth, and all that. But with that, comes in time, and then also coming with new speakers, hopefully, I think... I'm not sure. Caesar put in that, that speaker cover, so um, I'm not sure what if it was aftermarket or if it was stock. But I know this one, I know this one back here, it's not aftermarket. So I think that one might or might not. I don't know. Who cares? But either way, if these speakers work good, because I know Kickers is a good brand, I think, if I can remember correctly. Um, if. If the speakers all work fine and it's just the wiring, then I'll keep the speakers. But as far as the stock speakers, I'll replace those. I'll keep the aftermarket ones and I'll replace the stock ones. And uh, and then obviously we'll get a new uh, radio. Now as far as what I need for the car, um, I, I'm gonna focus on what it really needs. So as far as non-cosmetics so i had taken it to my friend's shop and we had put it on the lift and what we found out what it really needed as far as um 
mechanically wise, I don't know. I don't know the right term. I, I can't think of it right now. But what it really needs is bushings, alignment, um, passenger front tire, which I might replace all four tires. Uh, wheel bearing was really bad. The wheel bearing was as bad as it. It looked like the wheel was going to fall off. Literally, it looked like it was going to fall off. Uh, I still need some more interior pieces. Uh, the brakes definitely need to be changed. Uh, there are new brake pads on the front, but if but the discs in the front also need to be replaced. So I might as well replace all four of them eventually later in the future. And just a bunch of miscellaneous uh, interior pieces that I need. But that I can come well that with that. Uh, I can deal with in the future. But later in the future, if I have those interior pieces, I'll probably include them in an, another video. Now, the mods that I came with the car is the ISR wide pipes, test pipes, and single exit exhaust. True Heart rear camber arms, PCV delete kit, Mishimoto radiator, white line polyrhythmium rear. You guys can hose me for that, but I, I can't say it. I'm pretty sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about. And a subframe bushings. Now, with that being said, so everything mod-wise is set for me. I don't have to deal with getting a new exhaust or test pipes, wipe pipes, or I, have to deal, I don't have to deal with getting uh, new air intakes, which those air intakes filters need to be replaced soon. But like I said, this is not going to be my daily, so I don't, it's not a necessity. DM me or comment down below if you guys are parting out your 350Zs in the Houston area. I would like to buy some parts, or I would like to finish out buying the parts for this car and make it make it look presentable, I guess you can say. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.